What's up, Kim? Good morning! What? Happy birthday, my boys! I got one sleepy boy here, one half awake boy here, and today is my twins' birthday party! I can sense how excited you guys are. My boys are turning 12 tomorrow. It is super early in the morning right now. We are getting ready to celebrate the twins' 12th birthday. I'm gonna let them wake up a little bit. Before we start setting up for the party, gotta get their party shirts. I got them two different shirts. One is for their birthday pictures, which I still haven't taken. Their birthday's tomorrow, and then one is for their party. So Kyson's favorite color is pink, Kaden's favorite color is purple. It came out a little, I guess it does look pink. Does it look red to you? Yeah, it looks really red. It has been pure chaos the last 24 hours. Good morning, almost birthday boy. Like pure chaos. So my name is Jessica, I'm wondering if you guys do any last minute party tent rentals. If you could give me a call back, my number is. If you guys do a last minute party rentals, get canopy. No, for any chance you guys do last minute party tent rentals. I have now called about 40 different places and not one is available for today. Let me explain why I'm doing this last minute. I am constantly fighting the weather for my March birthday boys and all week the weather has been pretty good for today. There was a slight chance of rain earlier in the day, but the party doesn't start until later. So I've been keeping a close eye on it and all of a sudden this morning I wake up to a full forecast of rain and wind and horrible weather. I'm low-key panicking because we have two full soccer teams coming and like half of their freaking school are hosting a lot of people. I had a gut feeling that this would happen and I'm so mad that I didn't listen to my instincts. I should have just rented a canopy. <sighs> I'm so bummed right now. I've called every single place within 50 miles of our house and no one has one available today. So we're gonna have to get creative here. This is what we've got going so far. A tarp, which I'm terrified once the wind picks up, it's gonna rip down the middle. Um, just feel like, <sighs> I'm thinking we're gonna have to bring the party inside or at least half inside. And I've never done this before. <gasps> My hands Oh, okay, let's go. Take a real close look now, uh-uh, as soon you realize You don't know what's coming down I got you hypnotized No! Take a real close look now Oh my god! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is bad. This is bad. The tarp that we had covering this awning has now completely gone bye-bye. Holy moly macaroni and cheese sauce. This is not good. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Well, all hell is breaking loose, but we're trying to remain positive. We are currently trying to move the party indoors. And the first step of that is I am taking Honey's little play area and moving it one room over just for today. We are just gonna need that space. Oh, brilliant. And I locked it in there so she can't get off. That's so smart. She's not gonna be too happy about this, but it's for her own safety for one day. She could be in the backyard or she could be here. In the meantime, we've gotta move all of her stuff out of here and set up some tables indoors. Can't believe this. tarp situation that way we can have some covering I've officially given up on a canopy I've called so many places they're not able to accommodate which is fair it's the same day but I was just hoping that we could pull through with a miracle it's not happening that's okay we got to get this place in order we currently have three hours no pressure to completely transform this entire house and waterproof it got things coming together here so now we're gonna start working on some of the treats for the party we are going to be making these ding-dongs into meatballs <laughs> this is the inspo that we've got going on we'll see if we can pull it together I've got this I've got frosting candy melts for the sauce so we're gonna poke the ding-dongs with these forks and see how it comes together
I don't need to go over old and useless words What you said, what I said that might have made it worse We're here again Oh my god, he doesn't look like he found it They can't find our cakes They can't even find the receipt <laughs> Do you remember, you were with me and I said, I'm gonna take a picture of this receipt because of what happened. Total number of items this sold. Is devastating. Oh my God. And she acted like she didn't know what she was doing either. Remember the same thing with you. You didn't block it. I have a receipt. I took a picture of the receipt. And you paid for it. Mine it's paid for. Over the phone. It is paid for, done deal. Two cakes, ready to pick up at noon today, Friday. She took pictures of the examples that I had. I know. What is up with me and cakes? Like something in this lifetime doesn't want me to have cakes. Like, how, how, how? This can't even be happening. And they have just like all Easter cakes out right now. Tell them make me two eight inch yellow cake and I'll throw some pepperonis on it here. Are you lying? How, where? when I said they took a picture. <gasps> so he was like, he was like, oh, so he goes and gets the phone. Okay. Like, I guess it's like this, like this, it looks like an iPhone, but he pulls it out and he scrolls through it. He goes, are these the photos? And I was like, yeah, and he goes, wait. And then he goes back to the refrigerator and then he comes out and he's like, is this it? And I'm like, yes. How did he not see that? I have no idea. Like he was just like, sorry. Yeah, what was your name? Like, no, wait. you don't understand. Did he for this? Oh my god, I can't believe it! Ah, oh, the party's on! Note to self, always have him take pictures, maybe. He was just in there for so long, and there's such a long line of people, and the lady next to me was so mad. Okay, let's see this. The pizza that caused all the ruckus. <gasps> okay, <laughs> They actually did an amazing job. Can you imagine if you were like, oh, no problem, and they just sat there, went to waste? That is so cute. Like the little textures on the pepperoni. <laughs> They're different, though. Cute. Okay. So one's pepperoni and one. They're just as different as my one twins like are. olives and one's like <laughs> not. Yeah, except neither of them like olives. <laughs> but it's just as different as my twins are. Oh, I'm so happy. The star party is officially here. The Hannah. pizza. The boys just went and grabbed the pizza with Hannah. And we've got the most delicious pizza in town. It's a local spot called Pizza Bell. Everybody talks about this around here. If you guys live locally, then you know. I had them cut it into like party sizes, so they're extra easy for kids to grab. So now we gotta lay this all out, get it pretty, and then we can really start the show. The party is all set up and ready to go, and now we are starting the entertainment. And we're doing things a little bit differently here. It's actually two days before Easter right now we have a few different games for the kids to play but we thought it'd be really fun if we had a mini Easter egg hunt that would keep these kids busy for the majority of this party we're gonna hide a total of three eggs and three little like honorable mentions these primes kids love you know <laughs> gotta love it two of these eggs have $20 in them and one magical golden egg has $40 we are going to hide these in an extremely hard spot these are like mini adults like these yeah. kids know things and yeah. we're not going easy easy on them. We've got a bunch of preteen teenage kids coming over and we're we're going to make this difficult. Are you guys ready? Okay, next is it stay? <laughs> There's actually a railroad track behind our house. I'm thinking we should go to the railroad track. <laughs> And I hate it back here. Only the bravest of the brave get the big wins around here. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Last but not least, the golden egg. Oh gosh, this is crazy. I wonder if they're actually gonna be down for this. It has kind of like hard. We need to look for somewhere hard, cause. And there you have it. The golden egg is tucked inside of this net in this roll of chicken wire. Right outside, so we can watch for entertainment. I'm really interested to see how long it takes them to actually like find all of these things. I don't know. Kids always surprise me, so we'll see. Remember, you can go all the way up to the railroad track. 
<laughs> All eggs have been found. Next up, we're gonna do the find someone who game. 